My name's Aaron Ralston. My parents are down on Larry Ralston of Englewood, Colorado. Whoever finds this, please make an attempt to get it to them. Be sure of it. I would appreciate it. The canyons of Utah, a labyrinth of sandstone carved by wind and water, towering cliffs, a mosaic of orange and red, bake under the desert sun. This is where Aaron Ralston, a young adventurer with a thirst for the extreme. Oh gosh, it's a real pleasure to be here, thank you. Felt most alive. Mountaineering, canyoneering, these were his passions, his escape from the ordinary. It was not nearly as exciting and basically involved he lived for the adrenaline rush, the feeling of pushing his limits against the raw power of nature. Aaron was a seasoned outdoorsman, always prepared. He knew the risks, respected the wilderness. But even the most experienced adventurer can't predict every twist of fate. In April 2003, Aaron set off on a solo canyoneering trip into the heart of Blue John Canyon, a remote and unforgiving chasm. He told no one his plans. This decision, made in a moment of carefree confidence, would have life-altering consequences. Aaron moved with practiced ease through the narrow slot canyons, his movements fluid, his senses alert. The sandstone walls, cool and damp, pressed close on either side. Sunlight dwindled to a sliver far above. He felt the thrill of being alone, surrounded by the raw, untamed beauty of the canyon. He descended deeper, the canyon walls narrowing, the air growing heavy with the silence of the ancient rock. He felt a tremor of unease, a primal instinct whispering caution, but he pushed on, eager to conquer the next challenge. Little did he know he was walking into nature's unforgiving trap. One, where you were going? <laughs> the canyon floor sloped downwards, a jumble of boulders choked the narrow passage. Aaron Ever the problem solver began to climb down, carefully navigating the obstacle course. Then it happened. A boulder, dislodged by his weight, shifted with a sickening crunch. The canyon echoed with the sound of stone grinding against stone. Aaron was pinned, his right hand crushed between the unforgiving rock and the canyon wall. The pain was instant, searing, radiating up his arm. He yelled, his voice swallowed by the canyon walls. Panic surged, threatening to overwhelm him. He was trapped, alone, in one of the most remote places on earth. He struggled against the relentless pressure of the boulder, but it wouldn't budge. His initial terror gave way to a grim determination. He had to get out he had to survive. He assessed his situation, limited food and water, basic camping gear and a multi-tool, a lifeline in this desperate situation. Days turned into nights. The sun, a distant memory at the top of the sheer canyon walls, offered no warmth. The cold seeped into his bones, hunger gnawed at his stomach, thirst parched his throat. He rationed his meager supplies, knowing they wouldn't last. Hope flickered, then waned with each passing hour. Loneliness pressed in. This marks 24 hours of being stuck. I've been chipping away. Mm. Want to keep warm, anything? I have about 150 milliliters of water left, which should keep me alive till tomorrow night. I'm lucky. So that's it. Mom, Dad, I haven't appreciated you as I know that I could. I love you guys. A suffocating weight, he talked to himself, sang songs, anything to keep his mind from slipping into despair. He thought of his family, his friends, the life he refused to let go of. He chipped away at the boulder with his multi-tool, desperate to find a weakness, a way out. But the rock was unyielding. His efforts seemed futile, yet he couldn't give up. To surrender was to die. He knew that. Days bled into each other, time lost all meaning. He existed in a world of pain, thirst and dwindling hope. He recorded video messages on his camera, messages of love, of regret, of a life that might be cut short. He knew his time was running out. On the fifth day, a realization hit him with the force of a thunderbolt. He had only one option left, a horrific, unthinkable option. He had to amputate his own arm. The thought was terrifying, repulsive. But as he stared at his arm, blue and lifeless below the crushing weight of the boulder, he knew it was his only chance. He examined his multi-tool at the flimsy pliers, the dull blade. Fear threatened to paralyze him. 
But deep down, a primal instinct for survival surged. He had to do this. He started to cut, each incision a symphony of agony. He worked slowly, methodically, forcing himself to endure the unimaginable. Time became meaningless. Pain, his only companion. He pushed through wave after wave of agony, his mind teetering on the edge of madness. But he didn't stop. He couldn't stop. He felt a snap, a sickening release. He looked down, his stomach churning at the sight of his mangled arm. But he was free. With newfound adrenaline coursing through his veins, he rigged a makeshift harness and rappelled down the remaining drop. He was weak, light-headed, but he was alive. He had stared death in the face and emerged victorious. He stumbled through the canyon, a one-armed spectre in the vast wilderness. He knew he had to find help, and fast. He had lost a lot of blood, his body pushed to the very brink. As he emerged from the depths of Blue John Canyon, he stumbled upon a family of hikers. They were his salvation, their appearance a miracle in the vastness of the desert. Their shock quickly turned to action as they alerted the authorities. A rescue helicopter arrived, a beacon of hope in the vast wilderness. As they lifted him from the canyon floor, Aaron looked back at the towering sandstone walls, his heart filled with a mixture of awe and gratitude. He had cheated death, but the experience had changed him forever. The following days were a blur of hospitals, surgeries and the overwhelming relief of being reunited with his loved ones. The world marveled at his story, his tale of survival against insurmountable odds. He became a symbol of human resilience, a testament to the power of the human spirit. But the physical and emotional scars ran deep. The phantom pain in his missing hand was a constant reminder of his ordeal. The guilt of not informing anyone of his whereabouts, of the anguish he had caused his family weighed heavily on him. Yet, through it all, Aaron refused to be defined by his experience. He knew that he had been given a second chance, a gift that he wouldn't squander. He channeled his experience into a message of hope, of the importance of perseverance, of embracing life's challenges head-on. He returned to the outdoors, to the mountains and canyons he loved. He climbed mountains, kayaked raging rivers, and continued to push his limits, albeit with a newfound respect for the power of nature. He became a motivational speaker, sharing his story with audiences around the world, inspiring them with his courage and determination. He wrote a book between a rock and a hard place, a raw and honest account of his experience, a testament to the power of the human will to survive. The book became a bestseller, touching countless lives with its message of hope and resilience. Aaron Ralston's story is a powerful reminder that even in the face of unimaginable adversity, the human spirit can endure. It's a testament to the importance of courage, resourcefulness, and the will to never give up, even when all hope seems lost. His story resonates with each of us because it speaks to the indomitable spirit that resides within us all. It reminds us that we are capable of overcoming even the most daunting challenges, that within each of us lies a wellspring of strength and resilience that we may not even know we possess until we are tested. Aaron Ralston's story is not just about survival, it's about the triumph of the human spirit over adversity. It's a story that will continue to inspire us to face our own challenges, no matter how big or small, with courage, determination, and an unwavering belief in ourselves, because when we tap into that inner strength when we refuse to give up we discover that we are capable of achieving the extraordinary if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more stories that will leave you speechless let us know in the comments below until next time stay curious